Yeah, Jen and Ray, the princess broke her months-long, uh, you know, silence today, revealing that tests after her planned surgery in January found cancer had been present. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family. Princess Kate of Wales released a heartfelt video message on Friday announcing she has cancer and is undergoing chemotherapy. The princess says she learned of her diagnosis in January after a major abdominal surgery in London. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. The United Kingdom's lead oncologist says while the treatment is unpleasant, it will be of great value to the princess. Lots of clinical trials over the last 20 years have shown the profound benefit of the sort of drugs that would be given to her for this purpose. <laughs> The 42-year-old's recent absence from royal duties has prompted all sorts of speculation on social media about her health and whereabouts. A researcher on conspiracy theories at King's College London explains why rumors kept spreading about Princess Kate. People have strong feelings about the royal family. They may love them, they may hate them, they may be anywhere in between. And the Princess of Wales is one of the most popular members of the royal family. It's a lot to process, right? And we've experienced, you know, a lot of people have been speculating, trying to figure out what's going on. And really, it's a time where people are processing their feelings and trying to deal with the, uh, uh, deal with the emotions of a new diagnosis. Princess Kate did not say what kind of cancer she has or if it has spread, but the Northwestern Medicine Oakbrook Cancer Center medical director says it's common practice for doctors to look for an explanation when things are taken out or moved to determine the source of the problem that led to the surgery. Sometimes you may, whether you do a CAT scan or whether you a CT, a CT scan or any kind of you know pictures looking at it, you may not be able to tell with you know before you before the before you you know you look at it thoroughly under the microscope. Princess Kate describes the cancer discovery as a shock and emphasized why they prolonged the announcement. It has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte, and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. The princess praised her husband, Prince William, as a great source of comfort. The mother of three is focused on making a full recovery, pointing to a desire for time, space and privacy as she navigates her treatment. I'm getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. From locals, the White House press secretary to Prince Harry and Meghan, many have expressed support for Prince Kate's privacy wishes. Now, unfortunately, she's not the only royal family member experiencing this disease. Last month, it was revealed King Charles III is also being treated for an unspecified type of cancer. Right. Royal you. family going through so much these days. They are yeah. indeed. Thank you.